It's not Wisconsin, it's Northwestern in the driver's seat trying to win the West. And if they win today, and you include a Wisconsin and Purdue loss, they clinch. They're going to the Big Ten Championship game, and the Big Ten, they've been phenomenal. That's in part because of head coach Pat Fitzgerald. He's built this team to win a Big Ten Championship. All right, hey, listen, statement opportunity right now. Statement opportunity. But just trust ourselves, let's go have fun. All right, when we had fun last week, we dominated. We've had fun all year, we dominated. The West is ours for the taking. But we've got to go out and take it. No one will give it to us. Trey Hardage had five tackles, four passes defended, and a fumble recovery in Northwestern's win over Wisconsin. Kind enough to join us now. Montre, before we get to the Notre Dame game, the Big Ten West is yours for the taking. And I've listened to all the post-game interviews with Coach Fitz. And Fitz wants nothing to do with that conversation. Doesn't want to talk about the West, doesn't want to talk about the potential of getting to Indy. I understand the reasons why, but is it hard for you guys not to dream about what could be on December 1st? Well, I think, well, I definitely know Fitz, he heavily emphasized just focusing on, you know, just one day at a time, one week at a time, and one practice at a time. So I think with that consideration and with that mindset, I think we're able to go out each and every day and just give the best that we have. And, and I think, you know, with the game plan for each week, I think guys hone in on each key and each, you know, specific concept. And I think that we're able collectively to just come out and just, you know, get the job done on Saturdays. Beautiful November evening here in Evanston for the Wildcats and the Fighting Irish. This historic matchup. The Wildcats coming in on a four game winning streak. The Irish at eight and no. <laughs> All right guys, listen now, let's, uh, let's enjoy the moment tonight. Okay, you guys put in a ton of work. <laughs> Sacrificed greatly. And you know, Everyone that's gone to chapels or <clears throat> had a chance to do one. There's been a reoccurring theme about brotherhood. Chad talked about it again last night, right? About humility and confidence and joy. But what makes this group special is the brotherhood. That's what it just takes in these 60 minutes we get the privilege to have an opportunity like that. Let's trust on the brother to our right to our left. Let's empty the tank for the brother on our right and left. No matter what your role is. Okay. You're prepared for this. Let's cut it loose and have some fun, all right? This is our house. It's time for us to go play our most physical game for you, all right? Attack mindset, dominate each rep, and then repeat the yeah. hey, load yeah. back up. Come on. Yeah. Attack mindset, yeah. dominate the rep, yeah. and then repeat yeah. the I know you think this Northwestern team is certainly capable of victory here. I think of all the teams left on Notre Dame's schedule, this is going to be the most challenging. Takes the hit, there's a fumble, the Wildcats have it. Gallagher recovers the fumble. Playing its final non-conference game of the season, Northwestern welcomed the third-ranked Fighting Irish of Notre Dame to Ryan Field. Snap to Thornton being flushed from the pocket, rolling left and now throwing, caught across the 35, Flynn Nagel. Those two team up yet again, 60th catch of the year. The Wildcat defense fed off the energy of the crowd early. The secondary putting a stop to any big plays downfield. Good coverage though by the Cats in the secondary. Beautiful job, Hardage. But Notre Dame would ultimately capitalize for the game's first red zone opportunity. And the give will be to Williams, and Williams goes straight ahead. He's in for the touchdown. 
As he has for the previous two weeks, Pat Fitzgerald put the ball in the hands of first-year Isaiah Bowser to lead the offense. Off the middle, 25, 30. He's got a first hit. He would carry it 23 times throughout the evening, giving him 81 over the three-game span. Senior Clayton Thorson, meanwhile, mixed in some timely throws and saw his first fourth down test early in the second quarter. Fourth down for the Wildcats, five yards to go at the 21-yard line. Here's the snap, and Thorson backpedaling, throwing, one-hand catch, Bennett's Skoranek, a one-handed juggling catch. You just got Randy Moss right there. That was a one-hander, what a catch. Thorson would need every inch of his 6'4 frame to tie the game. Thorson's in, touchdown. A defensive battle on a 46 degree night near the shores of Lake Michigan. Well, coach, if your halftime in the locker room was half as good as what I saw you do with your defense out here, what was your message you delivered about standing toe to toe? We knew it was gonna be a battle and uh, hopefully we'll go out and play cleaner and smarter here in the second half. The Irish were able to keep quarterback Ian Book clean all night, resulting in a pair of third quarter touchdowns and a three score lead. It's Michael Young for a Notre Dame touchdown. Here come the Cats, running out of chances here. Bowser breaks free at the 50 to the 45. All right, on third and one, Thorson will throw again. He's going towards the end zone, and it's caught, touchdown! touchdown. Riley Lees! Wildcat touchdown! The door was starting to crack open on a possible Wildcats comeback. They just needed someone to provide the big push. Tyler Newsom to punt, and they block the kick! Ball free inside the 20 and out of bounds! Cameron Ruiz blocked the punt for Northwestern. Cats have been here before based on a turnover early in the game, but now they got to put seven on the board here if they want to stay in the game. Let's go. Huge play. They love the quarterback sneak with Thorson. That's what they do. They try to shove him in. Did he break the play? Touchdown, says the official on the far side. The upset, however, fell short for Northwestern as Notre Dame pulled away in the game's final minute. Final score, 31-21, Notre Dame. This is going to be a disappointment, but they still have all of their major goals right. right in front. We watched around right. that beautiful new building yesterday and on the walls, win the Big Ten West, yeah. win the Big Ten title. They haven't done that, but they have a chance to. Of course you wanted to win badly, but given next week's game, do you, you feel like kind of this was an okay result and probably came out in good health and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, I think, one, it's really disappointing because we had such a great crowd tonight. So shout out to our student section and to our fans. That's the best atmosphere I've ever played in at Ryan Field. So um, we were really excited up for this game, so very disappointed. But um, all our goals are ahead of us. Uh, we set out this year to win the West and that's what we plan to do. So we're going to learn the lessons we can from this game and put it away real fast because we've got a big one coming up next week. How much? Do you know any of these weights? Yeah, I know all of them. Okay, Montre, what's he? He's 192. He's been right there all season. Nate Hall, what's he weighing? 232. And then the other player to be aware of is 99, the D tackle. He's playing pretty well right now. Yeah. Throughout the season, Cody Shada, Northwestern's director of operations, has been the front line for connecting NFL scouts to the program. At a high level, or he's still rusty. How do they feel like he's doing? So he started off on a pitch count. Uh -huh. So Dr. Andrews did the surgery. Dr. Andrews said that he only wanted him to play roughly half the snaps week one. But overall, I think the coaches are really happy with his progress. And just the fact that he's back and playing at the level he is this quickly after the ACL is pretty impressive. Yeah, that was a bowl game, right? It was. Today, scouts from around the league are here to evaluate Wildcats hoping to continue their careers at the next level. Yeah, I think the luxury of being in this position for 10 years is that I have had the opportunity to meet so many different people throughout my time here at Northwestern. So, for example, 
I think 16 of the 32 general managers in the NFL came through here before they were general managers. So I've been able to build up relationships with all those people. So they trust our opinion and they trust our recommendations and they trust our character evaluations when we talk about how great our players are. As long as you can see. Mm -hmm. So like the quarterback, the whole offseason was rehab lifting, not get ready to go kick ass lifting. Mm -hmm. So he's 30? 232. 32. He'll be 40 couple and change easy at this time. If, if you want him to be. Right. Next year. High football IQ. You go, he's, the kid's got some swagger to him. Shader's tenure in college football recently landed him on ESPN's 40 Under 40 list, which highlights the sport's rising stars in the nation. You know, Cody, from, from top to bottom, is, is as detail-oriented as anybody that I think there is in his, his role in the country. You know, when you think about the best directors of football operations in the country, you know, Cody's on that short list. Number one, because his intelligence, his ability to adapt and, and continually try to evolve and make our program more efficient and better. And then he always thinks about the players and the staff. I mean, he's never thinking about himself. He's thinking about how he can serve others. So he's a terrific servant leader. So I've had the luxury of working with Coach Fitz for 10 years now. And really my role is to be an extension of him, to sit in meetings with different people throughout the athletic department, with NFL scouts, and really convey things on his behalf. So that way we're making sure that the program is executing everything the way that he would want it to be. The work done behind the scenes for the program over the past decade is as emblematic as the board held on game days. The Trust Yourself Board, obviously. And as President Shapiro thinks, that is my most important job with the program. Shada's other jobs with the program have been instrumental in pushing the Wildcats closer to the front of the college football spotlight. We've really changed every area of the program. And it starts with Under Armour and our relationship with them and having different uniforms that we can wear. And all of a sudden, we have cool uniforms. And then having more of a presence on social media and using different language when we're communicating with recruits. And all of a sudden, people have realized that we're a great academic institution that's also a really fun place to be. And an environment where coaches are gonna have a lot of fun with players, players are gonna have great relationships with each other. And all of a sudden, Northwestern has developed into this complete package. The line of scrimmage up front on the O-line and D-line is going to be critical. We've got to get after that quarterback. We've got to protect our quarterback. And Saturday, we are going to run the ball. Get your mindset ready to go, backs. Get it going, O-line. Get it going, super backs. We can throw it here. We need to run the ball. So let's get our mindset ready to go do that. We have 74 Warriors making the trip, and that's all we need. 74 against the whole state. And Iowa trying to get back on track against a Northwestern team that would clinch its first West Division title by winning two of its final three. Here today in Iowa, and they go at Minnesota and at home against Illinois to finish. Wisconsin already lost today, so you can check that one off for Northwestern and potential clinch scenarios. We got one opportunity today, and you know what? This is ours to go take. All right? This is our chance to go out and take it. We control our destiny. Yeah. All right, we gotta go dominate every play. Yeah. Punch in the mouth every play. Yeah. We know it's yeah. 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 the one, two, three, Scott yeah. 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 Here's Stanley to throw it on second down. In trouble and swallowed up. Joe Gaziano, who led the Big Ten in sacks a year ago, having another good season here as a junior. Looking to secure bowl eligibility for the third straight season, Northwestern had to stop the 21st ranked team in the nation, starting with an early fourth down opportunity. And he's just tripped up. This will be a turnover on downs with Ernest Brown tracking him down. Takes the fake on second and short. Thorson all day to throw, eventually checks it down and a nice move from Bowser to get a first down near midfield. Some boo birds. On some offense, still no score. Like you talk about, these two teams know each other so well. So little turnover on the two staffs. Doing whatever they can to find a little tweak, get a little edge. They stack two receivers either side. Stanley will throw out on the left. And Easley is going to be roped down for a loss on the play. This is exactly what defensive coordinator Mike Hankowitz wants. 
make. I will have to earn it. A couple programs that have had some good defenses through the years, but this is the lowest scoring half in this series since 2009. Defenses were making it difficult to put together drives, with nothing given up easily and every yard earned in typical Big Ten fashion. They're putting it on the shoulders of the true freshman. Well, it starts with the offensive line. Watch as he climbs to the second level. Then up pulling their backside, or excuse me, their center, Jared Thomas. Once he gets Bowser to the outside, it's his physicality, breaking tackles and lowering his shoulder. And the Hawkeyes strike first inside of a minute left here in the first half. We have got to get the ball back. Everybody with me? I don't see a lot of guys, second and third guy in punching on that thing and it's loose. All right, you guys with me? Not the first guy. We got to wrap and run our feet, but we got to go get that damn ball back right now. One turnover, what do you think? When's just the game? Right? Come on, Dave. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go after that damn thing, especially when we go after the quarterback. Secure, punch that thing out of there. All right, let's go. Championship 30 minutes right now, all right? Let's have it in the air. All right, we get out there, get yourself warmed up. Collectively as a position group on our boundary. Attack, you guys are up. Offense, you guys are up. Let's go finish the job. Win out three, one, two, three. Credit to this Northwestern defense. Pretty good first half for them, too. It's been the biggest strength for this team all season. With no points after the game's first 30 minutes, Northwestern's relentless ground attack was picking up steam. That could be one of those tone setters for Northwestern to kind of give this offense some energy. Getting some of physical first down, Bowser lowering his shoulder. First year Isaiah Bowser went beyond setting the tone to set a career high in yards and changing the course of the game. Bowser finds room 30, 25, he's gone! 10, 5, touchdown! Isaiah Bowser. He got a great block at the point of attack. He pulled his offside guard to seal that particular hole off the left tack, and Bowser made a nice move in the second level, and then he was off to the end zone. The Hawkeyes had an answer, reclaiming the lead late in the third quarter. To the end zone, Smith Marshall! For the Wildcats, a sense of urgency was setting in. The chance of making history in Iowa City, they'd need to first convert a crucial third and long. Let's go get this first. Get Tom. On third down yeah, in the second half, they'll run it, and Hanaoka has a first down. Chad Hanaoka, the walk-on, who had two carries over his first three and a half seasons, has one of the biggest ones of his career right there. It, it almost seems like this team is just destined the way their season has gone to, to find their way into a Big Ten championship game. Thorson into one on one. End zone, diving attempts. And a catch for a touchdown by Ben Skoranek. And so Northwestern takes the lead with 9.27 to go. The fall on Northwestern's defense, which has been Terrific, really, all season. And off on first down. He lost the football, and Northwestern's got it. As they come into Kinnick Stadium, and they beat the Hawkeyes 14 to 10. After the win, the head coach got to break the news. Wisconsin lost. Purdue lost. <laughs> What a scene, what a season. What is it about this team that's been able to keep battling and find its way? Well, it's so part of a Wildcat. Just a ton of ton of grit, ton of character. Great respect, great respect for Kirk and his program and 
but this is the best group of young men that there is in the country. I'm proud of them. We've all come a ton this year. And yeah, miles to go now before we rush. Big one on the road again next week. Yeah. Let me say this. Let me say this, okay? There's been no group I've been around that has faced more adversity and looked it right in the eye and hasn't flinched. Now, it's pretty fitting that we had to come out here and battle like this, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right? And that's what we've been talking about. Just each step of the way, just getting better each week, right? And you guys are proof that if you do that with a great attitude and a relentless work ethic, with the brotherhood as a glue, nothing can break that bond. Nothing can break that bond. Yep. Now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.